and today I'm going to be showing you how to make three of my favorite vegan recipes using cauliflower. I know it's super easy to get into the same routine with the same vegetables, using them for the same meals over and over again. So I thought it would be nice if I showed you some alternatives with cauliflower to give you some examples and maybe give you a little inspiration for your next meal. So I'm going to be making a mapo tofu with cauliflower, a cauliflower alfredo sauce, and a cauliflower tikka masala. So I really hope you like these and here they are. Okay, so we're going to start things off by cooking up some rice. I just use about two cups worth. And then you are going to start chopping up your cauliflower and adding it to a pan that you're going to put in the oven. So pour about a tablespoon of oil over that and then you're going to put it in the oven at 425 for about 20 or 25 minutes until it's nice and toasted. Then you're going to chop up a medium sized zucchini however you like. Add some sesame oil to a pan over medium-high heat and add the zucchini to the pan. Next, you're going to add two or three cloves of garlic. Then you're going to chop up your tofu into cubes and have that ready to go. And add your garlic minced to the pan with the sesame oil and zucchini. Then you're going to add a big tablespoon of black bean paste or you should really use fermented black beans that have been soaked in water for a few minutes but those are often hard to find so if you can't find them just use some garlic black bean sauce. Then you're going to add about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce or tamari whatever you prefer and then a quarter cup of hoisin sauce. You can usually find this at any major grocery store. Mix that up. Then you're going to add those tofu blocks. And you're going to want to stir these in and let them soak for a while because you really want the tofu to absorb that flavor. When the cauliflower is done, you can add all of that with the oil that's left over into the pan. Put some sriracha on top, however much you like. And then plate it up. Put some rice in your bowl and top it off. And this is also great for leftovers the next day. Okay, for this next one, the first thing you're going to do is chop up your cauliflower and you're going to end up blending these so you don't have to do it perfectly, but first they're going to go in the oven at 450 for 20 or 25 minutes. So add some olive oil to the pan and then get those in the oven. And then I'm also going to add two or three cloves of garlic. Since this is going in the blender, these cloves will be blended, but it's nice to roast them up a little bit. Then add your pasta to your boiling pasta water. I used rigatoni for this one. Once it's done, drain it out. Take out your cauliflower once it's soft and add that with the garlic to a blender or Nutribullet. Then you're going to add some nutritional yeast juice from a whole small lemon, so just juice that up. And then you're going to add some oat milk or almond milk, whatever you prefer. Salt and pepper and some red pepper flakes to taste, and then blend that up.
add the whole mixture back to your pot and then add the rigatoni and of course you can add whatever vegetables to this you want this time I just kept it simple this is a great lunch or dinner option Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is cook up whatever rice you're using. I used brown rice for this and I was making about two cups worth. Next, you're going to chop up one medium sized onion. and add it to the pan on medium-high heat with about one tablespoon of olive oil. Then you're gonna chop up three large cloves of garlic to add to that. and then some ginger. Usually I use about a thumb's worth and just chop it up as best you can. This is gonna go in the blender so it doesn't have to be chopped perfectly. Then you're gonna add two small tomatoes to your blender or a Nutribullet, just as they are. And then half of a red bell pepper. And then your onion, garlic, and ginger mixture. Then you're going to add a can of full fat coconut milk and blend it up. Next you're going to pour that liquid back into the pan and then you're going to add your spices, garam masala, cinnamon, and turmeric. Then you're going to add some salt to taste and stir that up and then let it sit. Next, I'm chopping up a large cauliflower. Cauliflower is like the hardest thing to cut, so just do your best. Then add all of the little florets to the pan with the sauce, and it's just gonna cook in the sauce. So cover it up and clean up your space. After a little while you're going to add a cup of frozen peas after about 20 minutes or so. Then you're going to cover it for another five. And then it should be all good to go. You can just test the cauliflower to see if it's cooked through. And then serve it up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like those recipes. They're all linked in the description box below and you can find more at pbpasta.com or at Plant Based Pasta Party on Instagram. I really wanna keep making more of these type of videos with different vegetables, showing you different things you can make. So please subscribe and like if you like this one and I will see you soon.